In the case of the Bulaway Hebrew congregation, much of the, con uh, much of the community of the city of Bulaway has been part of this process. So many communities have offered so much support. The sense of togetherness should serve as a paradigm for other cities and communities. I believe that at this time, when we mark the loss of the shul of our community, it is appropriate that I say a commemorative prayer for those who prayed in this synagogue who are no longer with us. I ask that their remembrance serve as an inspiration to us all. For remembrance without looking forward is futile. Let us remember the aspirations, the prayers, the hopes of all the generations that congregated in this house of worship. Though this prayer in the Jewish tradition is a very solemn prayer, yet it serves as an impetus for us to rebuild our community so that we can serve God in true joy. May we continue to grow from chayel le chayel, from strength to strength, and may we gain strength and vision from the remembrance of these people. Strength that will imbue us, imbue within us a spirit of renewal, renewal of the Bulawayo Hebrew congregation. O God, what full of compassion, who dwellest on high, grant perfect rest beneath the shelter of thy divine presence, in the exalted places among the holy and pure, who shine as the brightness of the firmament. To the members of the Bulawe Hebrew congregation who have passed to their eternal rest, we beseech thee, Lord of compassion, shelter them forevermore under the cover of thy wings, and let their souls be bound up in the bond of eternal life. The Lord is their inheritance. May they rest in peace. And let us say, Amen. Thank you very much, Rabbi. Rabbi Lepar is always a man with a sweet in his pocket, just like his father was before him. He is a man who values tradition and community, all based on a strong sense of family. Without Rodney, and Raymond Ross is not here today, our precious scrolls, the Sifre Torah, would not have been saved. I'd like to give the honor to Rabbi Lepar to come forward and propose a vote of thanks to all here today. Thank you, Rodney. <laughs> Fellow men and women gathered here as one today, thank you, one and all, for joining with us in this memorial closure of a chapter in the history of the Bulaway Hebrew congregation. Profound words and words of wisdom have been heard here today from our most humble and august speakers from nearly every faith who have come from near and from afar. We, the Bulaway Hebrew community, thank you all for being with us in person and in goodwill. In fact, this gathering of various faiths and creeds could well be an outstanding example to mankind around the world. Here today is where the divide of religion and ethnic differences are bridged. The chasm of the divide, seeming impossible to be bridged, is so done and bounded. Where differing persons have come together to share in the grief of their common fellow is surely an uplifting and confidence building block in, the, in mankind's involving development. 
one would hope this would be one of the drops that fall into the brook of the universal goodwill of our fellow man, with the hope that this, that it may become a raging river of tolerance and understanding of the peoples that are of different natures of, to one another. May this spark of interdenominational coming together and tolerance be enjoined with other like sparks around our planet, and may they follow a profusion of sparks that light the world into universal acceptability and tolerance of fellow for his fellow. I'm sure the Almighty is looking down on this gathering right now and with pleasure and joy as we, we are doing his will. And that is where the Almighty would say that the interaction between man and his fellow is a greater deed than the interaction of man and God. For if we have the ability to love and respect our neighbor, the world would be a better place. Once again, thank you one and all for becoming one with us in this memorial in the history of our Boaz Synagogue. Shalom Bahaba, wishing you peace and love. Thank you. Thank you all for sharing today's service. It's been one that's been very special for all here. And I'd like to end the service with everybody standing please for the Zimbabwe National Anthem. Thank you all for coming, and please be careful as you are leaving. Will the Carmel parents please come and collect their children? I don't want any of them to disappear. Thank you all.